reminder about Google uh, custom AI system and chat GPT for writing content that sounds just like you. See what it says? Yeah, this is going to save me so much time in writing this thread. And it sounds just like me. So this isn't your basic write a tweet, add a bunch of hashtags and emojis. This is structured for exactly how tweets and threads should be used, as you can see. What if ChatGPT could write like you? Not sort of like you, but pretty much an exact clone. It knows your tone, your voice, the sound, the structure, the format, everything about what makes your writing unique to you, and then able to take that framework and apply it to tweets, threads, emails, articles, whatever it might be. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. So first, we're gonna start with this template that I have listed in the description so you guys don't have to build out your own rules and definitions or your own how to write tweets and threads. These are all pre-laid out. You don't need to change anything about them. They're just an exact like guideline for the AI to use. Um, so it knows when you say write a thread, it knows what it's referencing and how to write that. The same thing with tweets. There are two things you are going to need to customize in order to use that. So you need to have your own long form examples. Um, this is important because because it's like, you know, your library, your data of your writing. And if it doesn't have that, it's going to kind of make things up every once in a while. And you don't want it to do that. So inside this page, you're going to want to just paste like three, four, five, six, the more the better emails, tweets, threads, just examples of your own long form writing. For your voice profile, that's like a, a synthesis of your long form data and we're going to have AI create that and we'll do that together so you know how to do this as well as your own system instruction prompt. So if we go into this project folder, we're going to need instructions and this tells the chat GPT project how to function, like how it should output, what it's doing every time it responds. So that way you get really consistent outputs. So to recap here, you don't need to change rules, definitions, how to write threads, how to write tweets. You're just going to come into the top right. You're going to export these as a PDF or Markdown. It doesn't really matter. I typically do a PDF, but yeah, you're going to want to app export this as Markdown or PDF and then upload it into either a project file here in ChatGPT. It could be a custom GPT. It doesn't have to be in ChatGPT. This framework can apply to whatever tool you're using, but I prefer to use the project feature for this. Let's move on to how to create your own voice profile. So I already created this generation prompt for you. So you, all you're going to do is take this, come into ChatGPT, into any chat. You're going to paste this in and then hit send. And then it should ask you, yep, said ready when you are. Paste in your long form examples. So I have some long form examples here that we can use to create a voice profile. This is just like, you know, something I had AI generate to get us an example, but this is going to take care of everything. So you don't need to worry about it. All you're doing is pasting in some long form examples. This is obviously not very good. And see, it says I got the first sample. We're just going to say I just used this one to create the voice profile. Obviously, it's going to work better with the more data you have to give it. But for this, we're just going to use that. Now it's going to update and give us this voice model or this voice profile. And this is what we're going to use to copy and paste into the sheet in our Notion page. And we're going to do this once it finishes outputting. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to copy it. We're going to come back into voice profile. We can paste this in here and then we can go ahead and export that as the PDF as we saw before. So we can then upload it into our content project. So now that's done, we're going to move on to creating the system instruction prompt. And this is all labeled here. So we just did that. We pasted in our long form examples. We, this is just the, an example the, of something you're going to get, not the actual one. Export as PDF, upload. Okay, now we're going to do the system instruction prompt. We're going to paste this prompt into ChatGPT. And now we're going to paste this custom instruction prompt into ChatGPT and use the same chat. It's perfectly fine. Said, okay, ready when you are. And we're going to do the same thing where we're just pasting in this example long form that I created. Obviously, the more data, the better. It might ask the same thing, like got the first sample, or it might just continue because we already told it we're working with that. So yeah, it's just going to continue and it's going to create a system instruction prompt based on you. It says me right here, but that's just because this ChatGPT has memory of who I am, but it's it's going to create it specifically for you and what you upload it. So now we're going to wait for this to output fully. And now that that full system instruction prompt is done, 
all you would do is copy it, go into your content project, and then paste it inside of here, and then click save. So now we've done that, and I have an example here. This is just a short one, but just to model something that you're gonna get so you know that you're getting the right thing, but it should take care of that for you. And then how I use this in ChatGPT projects, which I find to be the most useful because as I'm recording this, a new update came out today for Plus and Pro members where it can remember all chat conversations, which is going to be really big for improving the content writing as you continue to use this project. So now let's test our content project. I have the exact same things as you, you guys are going to have the rules and definitions, long form examples, voice profile, how to write threads, how to write tweets, and then the system instruction prompt, the exact same things you guys are going to get. So now I can say, please write a thread on how to use ChatGPT projects to 10x your work, which is a YouTube video I have. So I want to see if I can, you know, repurpose that video into a YouTube or into a, th a thread. And normally that would take, you know, a good amount of time to write out your own thread. But since it already has all of the rules and everything, it knows, you know, and it, ha and it can even reference the exact YouTube video I built because I built the script inside ChatGPT. So right here, it's saying I built the content OS, which is what I did in the video and in this video. So it has that memory. And yeah, I mean, this is probably 80% good to go. Obviously you'd want to go through it and tweak things where you want to, but besides that, it's a really good first draft. And when you use this at scale, like I can write now, please output an entire week's worth of content three tweets three tweets per day two threads uh two uh, yeah just two two threads per day and you might have to give it you know your content pillars things you're interested in talking about but since you know my version of ChatGPT has a bunch of context on things that i do already it's not going to need to ask me it already knows but you know after this i would you know say here are some ideas that for this week we're going to want to use or if you wanted to take this further you could then add you know a content pillars pdf add it to your knowledge base update the system instruction prompt to just say hey use this content pillars when creating new content so that way it has a list of ideas for you already but hey, here we go it's now this you know we saw three tweets here's the first thread here's thread two no it didn't quite listen it up put it two tweets or two threads and three tweets which is kind of what i said three tweets and two threads per day so this is the first day i suppose i labeled this wrong but you can see how it works if i wanted to tell it no actually we need seven days worth of content and then is three tweets per day and two of those days will have two tweets and then a thread instead i'm gonna say don't update memory this is an example because it might update its internal memory to know that that's my content schedule, but I don't want it to do that because it's not. This is obviously just an example. And so we'll just use, I mean, whatever one is best, but you can see that, you know, it's doing exactly what it says, outputting an entire week of content. You know, it's not perfect either. Like I wouldn't use these as your final, like ready to go. But as far as creating a first draft and not staring at a blank page when you're going to write content, this is a massive improvement. And it's definitely helped me write a ton of content that I feel is, you know, still valuable because, you know, it's coming from my ideas. I'm telling it what to write. It's just helping me format my thoughts down in a more efficient manner. So I don't want you to think this is going to completely replace your writing because I don't think it should. But as far as a tool for you to speed up the content creation process has been a game changer for me personally. And I hope you get the same value out of it. Again, I'm gonna have this exact template that you're seeing right here. So you can take these PDFs or this, these docs, download them, upload them to your own, upload them to your own project. I'm gonna get rid of this because this is just the example. Upload all of these to your own project, create the system instruction prompt, and you should be ready to go just like I am for creating all sorts of content, which includes emails as well because it can extrapolate that information. So yeah, that's all I got for today. If you want to grab this template, grab the link in the description and I will send it to you so you can get started on creating your own content in ChatGPT that models your own voice. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm and I appreciate every bit of interaction. Leave a comment if you have questions or if you want me to create a, a new video about something else. That's all I got for today. Thank you. Until next time.